Albert A. Walls, the voice of the jungle, broadcasting on the DVC to all points unknown. If you're within the sound of my voice, you're listening to Welcome Home Podcast on the DVC. Hello and welcome home. Thank you for joining us on episode 205 of Welcome Home, a Disney Parks and Vacation Club podcast. I'm Tom, here with Trevor. We expect Damon to be here at some point. I don't know. He's he's gone gone missing. He's <laughs> he's busy. I'm I yeah. He he kind of told us ahead of time that um, you know he's he, as usually he's juggling this in between kids' activities and stuff. So yeah, I would assume that he's uh, you know on his way home or yeah something which something you know, that's fine. Yeah. yeah 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 it's fine. And so so he'll we're gonna get started because yeah you know we don't we don't want to wait too long but i'm sure damon will will come in when he's ready and uh yeah so so the first thing you had on here was damon reads a bad review which w- <laughs> we'll we'll come back around to this no we need damon to read it i think yeah, it's absolutely. more important that damon reads yeah. it it's a damon oriented review um i David went was couldn't stop laughing at this in the discord mm. and and could not stop uh, he thought it was hilarious so uh but we'll we'll get into it when he gets here we'll we'll read that review so yeah um but in the meantime we do have listener questions this week although the first set of questions were ones that Damon posted in the group because I felt like he posted some good ones in the group this week and I just wanted to wanted to do them plus it's a little bit of a slow week honestly there wasn't a lot this week so yeah uh, so, Damon, one of the questions Damon posted in our group was, replace one ride where all all the animatronics are turned into Muppets. Which one is it? Oh, Frozen Ever After. Easy. Okay. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. You know, I a part of me wants to say Figment, but, like, it, only really Figment is in Figment. So, yeah, that, that's not fun. No. That, sorry, but uh, imagine Fozzie singing Let It Go. Like, that scene... You know where uh, up on? I mean, the... wouldn't it be Miss Piggy saying "Let It Go"? No, 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 no. It would have to be Fozzie. It would. It would have to be because it's Muppets. It would have to be like a something would happen. And it would. It, you would think it would be Miss Piggy, but then they would do like a switcheroo, and then Fozzie would be singing. Okay, Let so it now go. I feel like we need to play this out then. So, like, which Muppet <laughs> takes each character's place? So, like, all right. So, who's Olaf? The, see, see, I would think maybe that that Fozzie mm. would be Olaf, right? Like, I feel like Fozzie's more of an Olaf to me. No, no, no? I. I I I feel again Muppets is known for you know not following the norms. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. So you can't one to one it. Um, but see, that's why I'd have like Rizzo or something being Elsa. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Rizzo would be a good option too. I'm trying. Okay, f- Olaf would be because again, Olaf is very comedy relief. So I feel like yeah, that's true. That's but that's that's fun. It would have to be to like me, Sam yeah. Eagle. All right, Sam Eagle. That's uh, that's yeah. an interesting choice. What about yeah. what about Sven? Sven. Um, well, I mean, one of the Sweetums? cows. No, no, <laughs> oh, the, the cows. Yeah, the okay. the cows for you know. The, I mean, yeah, they use the cows in a lot of scenes. Okay. So, okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. Where does Kermit f- factor into this? Is is he like uh, Kristoff? Is that? Um. Hmm. I was actually going to put him as Anna. Okay, well, yeah, because again, main like main character, right? Yeah, and sure, so, sure. So Kermit would like fill in there, and then and then Gonzo would have to be Kristoff. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, there's no room for Miss Piggy in this whole there, thing. No, there is no because because you know in typical Muppet fashion, it would be you know she would have her big part coming up, which would be okay. you know singing "Let It Go," and she would get all wound up for it place by and, and then something would happen you know they'd knock her off the the balcony or something like that and then um like i said fozzy or like just someone unexpected would come in and fill that spot and actually okay. sing it as you're going backwards down the uh you know through the ride <laughs> like okay I, I think that would be amazing <laughs> Well, now, what about? Yeah, I, I like this idea. What yeah. about the? Uh, what about the the snow monster at the end? Because I was thinking Sweetums for that one, right? Like, yeah, that that could be Sweetums. That's that's yeah. definitely a Sweetums type thing. And then instead of the little snowji sitting around him, it could be some of the smaller Muppets, like uh, my personal favorite, uh, Pepe the Prawn, or we could have um, yeah, like the chickens, Pepe, the chickens, yeah, you know, the rats along with Rizzo. Like that's okay. that's all yeah. viable for yeah. for Muppets, yeah. Yeah, because you know Pepe could be there, wisecracking like he does. Um, yep. I think I've actually come up with my choice now, and, okay. and my answer is going to be Spaceship Earth. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. That's there's yeah. my answer right there. Spaceship okay. Earth. Um, Who's your narrator? Oh, that's a good question. Oh gosh, who could the narrator? I feel like narrator's got to be Sam the Eagle, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. Okay. Narrator's got to be Sam the Eagle. And then, I mean, you know, you could, the thing about Spaceship Earth is like, they're all really generic characters throughout Spaceship Earth for the most part. Right. So like Mm -hmm. you can really plug anybody in anywhere. Now, like off the top of my head though, like, of course you're going to have like, like, uh, um, uh, Bunsen and, uh, and, and, and like in the scene where they're, where, you know, the, the, the woman with the Afro and the, uh, the computer lab. Yeah, yeah. The computer room. Like that's obviously got to be like, uh, you know, Beaker and, um, Bunsen, yeah. And yeah, Bunsen, yeah. So, so like that's the, that's an obvious one, right? But then like, mm-hmm. I don't know, the Roman one, like, you know, the Roman section, I feel like you got to throw some Fozzie in there, like <laughs> telling bad jokes, like, you know, instead of lecturing, he's telling bad jokes to a, to a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and I know, okay, you can fit animal in. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where the guy's pounding out the, the papyrus. Okay, I like it. That's animal. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's he's pounding the papyrus a little too hard. And with yeah, yeah, you know, ah, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like this yeah. idea. Um, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm trying to think. Who else. Oh man. <laughs> mm-hmm. So there's there's so many there's so many fun things you could do with this idea. That's why I was trying to think. I was like, okay, what ride has a lot oh, of characters in it? Okay, right? <laughs> and all right, that the last thing that you in, in Spaceship Earth. Yeah. is you need so you know when you come out and you see the earth at you know at the very top yeah yeah um there there used to be a space station there right like that there there's a whole section off to the side that they don't use anymore yeah where you can um, just see kind of like shadows yeah um that needs to be pigs in space <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it right i like <laughs> it. <I'm- laughs> oh man oh i just had another idea too um I mean, a, a different ride that we could do too with this is uh, okay. Carousel of Progress. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. It, it's basically like watching the Muppet Show tonight yeah. on like yeah. <laughs> on a I rotating. Mean, I, yeah, and stage. I think yeah. like obviously Kermit's like the main character, right? Because Kermit mm-hmm. has the to be the main character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, you know, there's there, there's a dog. Uh, there's you can have. Um, you know, I feel like Miss Piggy could play the role of the of the the sister, the you know, I mean, the daughter, pretty easily, right? Yeah, the 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 dog is Sprocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Oh man, there's so many great things you could do with with that one too. I'm sure we're forgetting some Muppet characters. Somebody's favorite Muppet character mm-hmm. hasn't been mentioned, and they're like mad that we haven't thrown them in there somewhere. But I mean, I think we, we've covered a pretty pretty good amount of them at this point. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, I like until you get evil, like, or, or well, I mean, I, I guess there is uh, the only ones we haven't really mentioned is the uh, the 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 phena- or phenomenon. Oh aliens. yeah, yeah, those guys, yeah, and yeah, yeah. What's, I don't know where you, they the, would yeah. actually they they could fit into Spaceship Earth. That would be a fun. Like you come around a yeah. corner and it's just the phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also just imagining, by the way, the printing press screen. But like in my mind, uh, like. Um, uh, beakers like stuck in the printing press and just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah because <laughs> there's the one character i think that's like turning the thing uh and so yeah so you just have him be that but he's stuck on it he's <laughs> i mean if you just wanted to make spaceship earth not be educational anymore and just be goofy and silly then great just yeah, do that I, I, I feel like you know going back to to the um you know buns and honeydew and beaker thing i yeah it would actually be funny like you know, you, you could do do random Muppets throughout, but I think it would be funny sure. if you just had like like the same scenes, but like Bunsen and Beaker were like in each scene. But the, yeah, but like yeah. what you're talking about, like something catastrophic is happening to them, but like in the existing scene. That would be another yeah. funny way to play it too. That would be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Like okay, so now so we're missing. We we you mentioned Gonzo once. We didn't say anything with Rolf or uh, Scooter. Um, mm, I mentioned yeah. Pepe and Rizzo. Um, Statler and Waldorf has got have to be somewhere in all of these. I feel like that's uh, where would Statler and Waldorf go? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like heckling you at the end somehow. <laughs> and or the th- Swedish Chef, we forgot the Swedish Chef too. Oh yes! Oh my goodness! How did we forget that? Yeah, I don't know. How do we forget that? We can't forget the Swedish Chef. Hmm. I mean, yeah, and you know, the, the, there's plenty of scenes like, like you know, you, you could put Statler and Waldorf in like the Egyptian scene where the, you know, the the pharaohs, like, like where the papyrus is. But, you know, they it could be them sitting on the throne. 
or when they when, when they make the the crack about uh when the narrator makes the crack about uh paying taxes they, they yeah. say you know yeah like, they, they, they could they that. could that stink you know like <laughs> yeah that was my impression there you go um there's so many things you could do mm-hmm. just and that's that's the one where i feel like you could fit the most is, is spaceship earth because yeah. i'm trying to think of even another one that has that many characters right like i mean you just, could do a splash mountain which you know uh, R.I.P. Splash well, Mountain, but <laughs> th- that, that's yeah, that that's too easy, and that's already getting redone. But yeah, I, I think it would be cool if they could figure out, you know, you know, kind of like how other rides they'll do like seasonal overlays. If they could figure out like a Muppet overlay for oh a gosh. ride, it'd be crazy. That would be cool. Haunted yeah. Mansion. Well, they, I guess they already yeah. did that with the movie, right? With the that movie that they put out. So yeah, but I mean, actually, like integrating into the ride would be would be fun too. Yeah, I actually I saw that it was uh, all over the internet too. This is like an aside, but like you know uh, the I don't know if you've watched uh, Knives Out, you know the newest Knives Out, but I I don't know if you saw that there was a thing where everybody was saying that the next Knives Out movie should be a Muppet movie. Oh, yeah. I, no, I I actually haven't watched um, Glass Onion yet, so no. It's but. it's really good. You should watch it for sure. Yeah, uh, I, 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 did you see the first one, or you just yeah. I, I did, um, but yeah, it, it, like kind of like Damon, I I don't sit down to watch movies regularly, I so I, yeah, like I'll I'll see it like months after it comes out. Kind that, of that's fair. So, yeah, that's fair. It's it's hard just it's hard with one like Knives Out though where things can get spoiled, you know, because it's mm-hmm. you know because it's a mystery kind of thing. But yeah, so the you know, the whole internet was like. You should do the next Knives Out movie, but with Muppets, and 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 so that was going around for a while. And even the guy that that wrote, um, you know, that wrote and directed the 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 Knives Out movies, um, I wasn't it Ryan Johnson. Uh, what's his name? Ryan? Why am I forgetting his last name? Johnson. Yeah, it is Johnson. I, I wanted to say Johnston. Yeah, it's Ryan Johnson. Yeah. He's he also did a Star Wars movie, so he does have some connections to Disney, right? But, um. But he was like, yeah, it's a great idea. And he's like, I just don't think I can do it. And I, I think the obvious reason is because, you know, Disney owns the Muppets. So. And and it's I, I think the production on a Muppets movie is actually way higher than people realize because there's a lot of Probably, like yeah. there's a lot of set manipulation and whatnot yeah. that has to happen for for the Muppets that, yeah, doesn't. That's true. You know. It's it, it's a different challenge for sure. Like like just saying you know yeah. any movie or anything you know make it Muppets. It's like mm, it's not that easy. <laughs> no, I mean like it sounds great, but yeah, you're right. It's it's a it's a difficult thing to do. So yeah. All right, I think that's all, right. all we got for the Muppets. For oh, okay, there's okay. The let's movie. let's go into the next one. Who who remembers printing out your Disney plan on paper and carrying it around the park? I mean, I don't think I ever. I never had my plan printed out for around the park, but I always had. I always had like my overall itinerary printed out and I always used to like take like copies of like my hotel um the, the my hotel confirmation and stuff yeah, like yeah. like things that like it's all on my phone now and I know that I have it on my phone but it was always like this well if you know I lost my phone or if my phone wasn't working you know I still had a backup copies but I never had I never had like paper in my pocket as I was walking around the park I'm trying to think like I don't really remember having a plan like that. I mean, I I certainly remember the days of like, you know, unrelated to this, like, you know, map questing and and printing directions out to places. But like, I think I maybe just like you said, like had paperwork of like my reservation and my, you know, the information about the hotel and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think I ever had like actual plans printed out. I'm pretty sure my mom probably did when I was like a kid. You know what I mean? When I was young, yeah. she probably had a plan like that written written out. Probably, probably not printed. She probably had it written out by hand. You know, <laughs> I don't think she was using a computer at that point. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I do. I mean, you know, it, it is interesting how things have really changed. You know, totally. Oh, Damon, Damon is here, so he's just uh, he's just hiding in the background now. There. No, I'm just I'm trying to get get set up here. I I kind I forgot my son was going back to school today. And like, I think he's bringing more stuff back after this break than he did when he first went to school. Oh, gee. And there was just a lot of confusion on like getting the stuff in the car. So I wasn't driving him back. My wife was, but there was just, there was a lot of confusion. So oh, God. So, sorry for being late, but um, I, I'm assuming oh, you guys already talked about the Muppets ride and I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But and, and Our tro- my choice was Spaceship Earth and, uh, and Trevor's was Frozen Ever After. <laughs> so. Oh, boy. 
I don't know. I think it, it's a small world. It was a good. A oh, good that's thought. a good choice too. Yeah, yeah. That's, someone that's had a good said one that too. that one would be kind of. It would kind of like liven it up a little bit. I feel like. So, are you saying replace all of the characters? In- no, 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 no. Just so some, that's, right? That's the, I almost okay. think like that would be an addition. Okay. Like yeah. the Muppets take over. It's a small world. <laughs> like, like I can get on board with that. Yeah, that yeah. would be kind of neat. Um, you know, there'd be people that would hate that so hard. Yeah, because I actually I'm I'm a nostalgic small world person, so it would have to be some sort of overlay that only happens every once in a while, maybe. Yeah, like a like um, the holiday ones that they do at haunted like, mansion. Know. Again, I don't like I don't ride for that show like other people do. So I could like if that flipped over to Muppets, like that would be fine for me. Like that would be super cool, especially since we have the movie. But yeah, um, let's see paper and carrying around a park my parents still do that like there's last trip so we're talking 2022 i was like what is that stack of paper and they're like oh well this is what we're doing i'm like <laughs> <laughs> like in a binder to boot in a Ooh. binder oh i like that the Ooh. binder yeah, okay that was uh, a that three was ring bad. binder the pages were la- were they laminated and hole punched <laughs> no they <laughs> weren't laminated um, or hole punched I, I think it was a three ring binder it was one of those like slide in binders Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little more new school on the old school, <laughs> is, is what I would say. Well, we just, we we're just going to get into the haircut one, so. Okay. Well, all these questions are mine, huh? Haircut. Well, so I, I liked your questions this week, and we didn't get a lot of I, other ones, so. Yeah, I mean, I thought that some of them were pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the haircut one. Like, I think it's so, a good question. <laughs> so, I, I again, I think as I told Chris in the group, so for people that aren't in the group, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, but if you're not, like a lot of the questions that I find are other groups, and I kind of just Disney them up, to be honest with you, Makes because sense. it's yeah. tough thinking of a lot of questions. So that was one that I was like, you know, people were talking about, you know, haircuts before they travel, and I just, you know, Disneyed it up. I will say that I always get a haircut before I go on vacation. That is that is a thing that I always do. Yeah. Well, mostly because it's I don't like getting haircuts, right? Like in general, I just don't like haircuts. I find them a waste of money. I not only do I find them a waste of money, <laughs> I don't like chatting with the uh with the hair stylist, you know, like I I don't like small talk really. So like for me it's just like I, I can you just cut my hair like <laughs> I don't want to talk. <laughs> Like just get my hair done, and then yeah, I, I mean I have a podcast where I talk to you know tons of people, but I don't want to talk during well, a haircut. That's, no, that's it's this isn't small talk though. Like I just don't like it's, like it's uh, what, what is this then? What we're talking about? This is, no, this is small talk. <laughs> Free trip haircuts. That's not small talk. No, this is topic. That's a topic. Okay. Like if she came to me with a topic, I could talk about a topic. But if she wants, maybe to talk that's about what the you weather, should do. You should care. find a person that you can get a pre-topic list you know before you go in and then you'd be all set i feel like i should find a person that just won't talk to me (laughs) but no i so like yeah i don't know i just i so i tend to not get haircuts but then like my vacation always kind of pushes me towards getting a haircut because i i don't want to look like a mess in any i I feel i feel the same sort of way i think i've needed a haircut for about four months and i just (laughs) don't want to go i find things just to be yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle, right? So, yeah. like, I, I'm like, wow. But if I had a trip coming up, I would go get a haircut now because I I have to. Like, it's 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 out of control, man. It's a functional thing for me. Yeah, yeah. It, it's because I, I like like you guys. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not like I'm not running off to get a haircut every like you know every other week or I don't even know how often people get haircuts normally. But I, yeah, I, I don't I know need, either. I need that yeah. guy that comes to the house and oh, just. Chops it up like that's, like, that's pricey, the dude, man, right? Like that's even pricier. You're talking about being expensive. Well, a- absolutely, but that's what I would want, right? I don't want to spend any money, but like if I knew somebody that would just you know come to the house and chop it up real quick, that would be good. You, I don't know why, Damon, but like you feel like the type of person that like one of your kids would like learn how to cut hair and just do cut either cut their own hair at, at home, you know, like have clippers. <laughs> like it just feels like a thing that you would do. I don't my, know. Why. So my wife was cutting my hair for a little while, but I mean. You know, I'm also like, hey, you know, trim me up, okay. like yeah. in between haircuts. Like, I gotta keep those lines straight. So oh, the lines, yeah, yeah. So, so my wife will do that. I, I wish she was just a little bit better. Like, she's just just that level below. Like, I could like get by with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you just get you need to get your wife better haircutting skills. <laughs> yeah, maybe when we retire. There you go. She'll learn how to cut hair. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? But at that point, I'll probably, like, again, like, she wants me to have it all shaved off. But, like, I'm, you know, Seinfeld scared, right? You remember that episode? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? So <laughs> so that's my problem. Like, my hair is, 
a lot right now, right? It's curly, like super a lot. Um, I feel like if I shaved it off again, like I might get Seinfeld and I just don't want that. I, you know, I, I get that. I see I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm losing enough of my hair that I'm, I'm not far off from just having to, to shave the head, you know, <laughs> like mm-hmm. to just go, but you know, I'm not there yet, but uh, anyway, do you want to do your review? You want to read your review, Damon, that you wanted to talk about? No, let's finish the questions first. We'll do it we'll before the rest of the stuff that is just. <sighs> this episode was 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 rough. <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty sparse on there's, news. There's not and, and anything that it's not sparse on is Disneyland, which <laughs> there's a lot of Disneyland stuff. Yikes. <laughs> there's food at least to talk about. I mean, but not at Disneyland. It doesn't count. It doesn't, it doesn't really count. exist in my world. <laughs> No, that's fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't wait till you actually go to Disneyland. Yeah, exactly. That's what my wife said to me today because we were, we're talking about it, the, the show, and she's like, oh, you know, what's everyone wants to ask, what's the podcast about? And I'm just like, I don't know. It's like, it's a, you know, I just don't remember. And then I was like, oh, let me go look. And I was like, I don't know. It's a bunch of Disneyland stuff. Stupid. I don't really care. <laughs> she's like, until you go there. She's like, the only reason you think it's stupid is because you haven't gone there. And I was like, ah. It's a fact. I don't know. It still might be stupid even after I go. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's more more towards that. It's just been a busy weekend to top it all off. Like yeah. I, I was I was looking to dig into some some good questions. I mean, the Giants got absolutely railroaded yesterday. Like I mean, I that's kind of what I expected. So <laughs> not that bad. I didn't even expect it that bad. Woof, that was tough. Um yeah, and it's just been a busy weekend. My son son had a swim meet and then didn't get any we, fights in this uh, in this one though, right? No, no. Fights. no this is a high school meet. It was, it was, it was fine. It was actually pretty low key, to be honest with you. It was conferences, so it, they'll ramp up as we go to regionals and states. Like that's where it gets a little crazy. And again, what's interesting about it is, is that you know, states is always over by me and Raleigh. I can't imagine those people from like even past you that have to yeah. come. Right, like that's tough for high school states, and you <laughs> traveling. A- across the place but yeah yeah it's a little that's bit. what it is yeah well katie wants to ask uh here's my question how's your new year going so far it's going i mean yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean not not as bad as previous years it's definitely okay i mean <laughs> i i guess I, I i don't look at it necessarily as like how like you know new year's is not like the bookend for me necessarily yeah. it's mm. more like you know, just like what's going on or like chapters, right? Like, like it's like, oh, I'm doing this thing or, you know, this, like, yeah. like you, you kind of go through phases, right? But I don't always line it up to like this year or that year. So okay, like, things are okay right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not a big like New Year's resolution guy. I'm just like, if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to do it whenever. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I just, mm-hmm. I, I did the changing of the month does not or the year does not do anything for me. I don't know. I'm not a big yeah. New Year's guy. I'm not really either. I mean, in general, it's been busier than I thought. Again, I thought once my oldest went away to college, it was going to be like a little like more laid back because I wasn't going to like, I I don't understand how I was going to all these soccer games. Like, I really don't get it because like, I'm really busy now. So how was I doing all of that on top of what I was doing already? I just, I just don't get that. Is Um, it that you traded something? No, I don't even think I did. That's the thing. Like, I just don't understand. Like what? (laughs) I just don't get it. So I mean, it's been an okay start to the year. I, you know, again, like weeks. I I mean, yeah. I mean, as I've been getting a little older, though, there's I again, like I knock out one problem and then I got another one. Like my hips been bothering me recently. I had to start like doing like hip exercises and stuff, which is crazy. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of like you know sports and doing more active stuff lately, and I think I just wasn't ready for it yet. I need to ramp up to that. Um, But what's interesting is is that so for all the swim families. And I'm, I know there's a few of them. Quite a few you know, in the group, actually. There, yeah. there is, yeah. You know, Futures this year is going to be in Florida, which, again, right, makes me think Disney. But it's going to be, what, how do you pronounce that? Oscala? Was by Tampa, whatever that is. Are you talking about Ocala? Ocala, yeah, or, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. It's by Tampa. <laughs> so that's where my parents live, is Ocala. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, so that's where we'll be. For okay. a week in July, July. Okay. So I already started looking like, what am I going to do? Because I'm going to be in Florida, but it's not close enough to Disney to really do any Disney stuff. I mean, um, 
when my parents live is only i mean if if it is ocala then it's only it's only an hour and a half if that yeah but, yeah, but it's an hour <laughs> and a half right when he's got yeah. like events it's not like an like, it's not like i'm going there and doing nothing so i can just do what i want so it's got to be close enough I, I looked up some mini golf i think i'll probably hit some mini golf there yeah, there you there go, you go. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to turn into, like, a mini golf connoisseur, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, outside of that, just the weather, I guess, will be nice. But, I mean, it'll probably be hot, too. July is going to be hot. Oh, God, July's the worst. Yeah, <laughs> July is so hot. bad in Florida. It's bad here, too, though, Dave. I mean, it's just, you know, it's... Yeah, it it, it is definitely bad here, too. I won't lie. It's definitely, definitely hot. Yeah, July and August are, like, awful here. Mm -hmm. and, and there, yeah. Trevor, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, I... I was just, yeah, I mean, mini golf is where I would go if I had. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be like kind of my new thing. I guess I have to get better at it now, though, because I'm not really that good. I need to have like a little like turn a room into a putting green sort of guy for a while. I feel like, you know, something well, like that. Well, you know, I, I played mini golf with Trevor and his brother in VR and Trevor destroyed me. So now, <laughs> to be fair, I just started playing the game and I just started mm -hmm. doing VR. But like he just destroyed I, me. I, that was a really good round. And I told you. got a hole you, in one like, of the first hole of the first yeah, hole. Well, hole I, I mean, I, I, and I said that and my, my, my brother could could vouch for it is I usually don't have that good of a round. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, so we'll see. Because I mean, that's what our disney you know not park trip is going to turn into you know is some escape rooms and some mini golf and and things like that i, I keep flip-flopping on wanting to go to universal again during that disney treehouse trip but i just i still keep thinking to myself why do i want to go this year if next year everything is going to be open and exactly. i'm still not on board with what tom's saying i think it will be open in 2024 at least some of it so you know, I kind of holding out for that, but one never knows. And I think there's somebody in the group wanted to play foot golf and, and we're definitely on board for that. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll have a challenge, a foot golf challenge in, in June. So. Somebody wants to, someone local down there wants to challenge you? No, someone that's going there for okay. vacation is at the same time. And I think they have a, uh, their, one of their kids plays soccer as well. I think as uh, maybe a senior just this year, maybe. So yeah, it would be, I think it would be a good, like, it would be good. I'm pretty bad though. So that's the problem. Like my daughter played soccer and, you know, my son played soccer. So we'll see. We'll see. But that would be fun, I think. Yeah. All right. So uh, our newly minted group expert in memes, um, Dan. <laughs> and, and here's the thing with group experts. Like there's not a lot to choose from. Like it's not like you can just make up your own. Yeah. Yeah. No, you have to actually like pick from a list. Yeah, I do. I do think it's funny how many people get mad whenever there's a new group expert. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone's mad. It's, I mean, besides maybe I, one person, I, but I, I, I treat it like whose line is it anyway? You know, you know, the points don't matter. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and literally, Dan K was just like, "Hey, we haven't." Because I, I said, I said in Discord, I was like, "Oh, you know, is Dan H okay? We haven't heard from him in a while." And then yeah. Dan K was like. Well, listen, if, if you're concerned about Dan H that much, why is he not a, a group expert? And I was kind of like, I, I can't argue with that. So <laughs> then I felt like there was a few other people. And then Dan H was kind of giving Francisco the business. So I was like, well, I can fix that really easy, right? Like, um, but, but I think oh, Lee is, you know, deservingly, she's always posting news. She sends us stuff. Oh, wait, in, wait. I thought it was just Dan that got one. Lee got one too. Yeah. 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 It's Dan, Lee, Francisco. Francisco got one too. Well, just because Dan was giving him the business, I yeah, had I know. to. So, oh, okay, so all right, see, so, yeah, because I saw that Francisco was like, "Hey, what the? What about me? Do is he an expert in memes too? Is that? I, I don't think so. I don't know. Again, you have to choose your own stuff. But I, I feel like there was one more person, but maybe not. Maybe that was it. But I feel like now we have a a pretty good group of again, because like I said, Leo is always sending us news, which is great, and That's we true. appreciate that and That's things true. like that. So I, I think it, I think it worked out well. I had to put that on here because Dan is very proud of his new uh, his new expert status. So. Well, he I, I think he's what he's going to tell us now. It's it's diluted, right? I feel like yeah, he's not going to be as proud as he once was because there's <laughs> you know there's six people that are group experts now. Well, I mean the the what he posted in the group was basically him looking down on everybody, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, as I said, I think once, so yeah. yeah. Once we get to ten thousand, we'll, we'll make some more. I mean, that's go. what I feel like. Yep. You got the page is almost to 10,000, but the, the group is still lagging yeah, crazy. behind a little bit. Yeah. So, so, so maybe, maybe this is a shout out to everyone listening, you know, bring your friends along and then you can see the chaos. <laughs> ensue, the chaos. Ensue. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. 
I, I don't know how to answer his question here. Is what's an appointment way to celebrate a terrible co I'm assuming he meant appropriate way. Yeah, I, I think that was an auto care. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. It's a point it's it's appropriate, yeah. I thought maybe he was just using some way to say this that I was unaware of. So, you know, you're probably right. That's probably appropriate. What what's an appropriate way to celebrate a terrible coworker getting disciplined at work? I mean <laughs> I don't yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I concern myself with myself at work, to be yeah, honest with I, you. Like, yeah, I guess I guess the thing is, is it's like, you know, if somebody gets disciplined, it's kind of like... It's, it's bad oh, for everybody, I feel. Yeah, like. it's 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 kind of like, okay, what did they do wrong so that I can avoid it? And then, anyway, back to work. Like, it's there, there's never like a, you know, yeah, got him kind of yeah, thing dude, that goes it, along. It, <laughs> listen, to me, work is like a, like you have to rep work like right mm-hmm. like if you're at a place you like and enjoy like you enjoy the company like you don't want any you want everyone to be a superstar there right like at yeah, the yeah. end of the day that's the way i look and so. well, to your point i feel like most i don't think i have any coworkers that i would truly call terrible and the ones that are terrible are too high up to get disciplined <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> there's like a couple that are like really high level people that are kind of terrible that but you know they're they're up there like you know they're not going to get disciplined by anybody so uh, people are afraid guess, of them <laughs> so i guess my thing too is i've i've been in like team lead positions in the past and i i guess i've learned to have you know even for the people that are you know, being difficult at any point, I, I try to have more empathy and like, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, if, if they're being terrible at work, it, it's kind of like, okay, you know, you know, y- you can win them over with kindness is one thing I've actually found that with, you know, I, I've dealt with some people that have had bad reputations for being difficult to work with. Yeah. And I've actually gotten them on my side. So I, I guess that's, and when I say on my side, I mean, like, like, you know, I can work with them and, you know, you know, go and have a conversation and not have it be trouble every time. Yeah, so I guess, yeah. I guess my thing is, is that I've, I've never, I've never celebrate, like I said, I, I don't celebrate people, you know, getting disciplined because I would rather like, kind of like what Damon's saying, I would, I would rather see everybody succeed, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Dan, since you're an expert in memes, why don't you just make a meme about it? That, that's, that's what you gotta yeah. do. You just make a meme about your enjoyment of somebody. Maybe we this. should discipline Dan for that. Yeah, I know. What is? <laughs> he's not a very good coworker. <laughs> I, like, uh, I like his next question, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what advice would you give to a family that is planning a Disney World trip that was last there ten years ago? I feel like my answer to that is get a uh, get a travel agent because <laughs> forget everything you know. <laughs> forget everything you know. Yeah. Well, it's funny because it, there's a friend of mine who's parents or dvc members that are that hasn't been in a long time like her parents like don't really take them using their dvc points like so she hasn't been in a long time and she texted me and was like hey are you still doing the the travel agent thing and i'm like no i'm not doing that anymore but like i was surprised that this particular friend texted me that because i was like there's somebody that knows disney pretty well they went a lot when they were a kid but it, they haven't been there in so long so they're just wanting you know world. Yeah, yeah it's a different, different world it is yeah i mean i think i think the Genie Plus versus pa- Fast Passes is probably the biggest thing that I'd want to go over with somebody, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? no, that like, makes sense, yeah. And I think just um, a spend, like you, right, your, your, your daily food spend maybe from 10 years ago is, is tough to kind of get through. But I think, again, those are probably the two things. I mean, ride-wise, I guess maybe the other thing that I, I always mention to people – when we talk about Disney, I, I rarely talk about Disney because most of my friends are not Disney people, you know, excluding talking to Tom and Trevor. Most of them are, you know, beachy sort of resorty vacations, excluding my one set of friends that we travel with to Disney, but even they haven't been in a while. Right. So I would say that, you know, when I talk to people about Disney, it, it's always like, well, don't try to do everything at once, right? Especially 10 years of change. You know, unless you're going for more than a week, like you don't have to do everything. Like you're, mm-hmm. you're probably not going to do everything. And if you do everything, I mean, how happy are you going to be at the end of the day? There's a lot to do in Disney in 10 yeah, years. You, you can yeah. burn out in the first day quite easily. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what I always try to kind of help people with. And I guess that's maybe because that's how 
I used to do Disney in the past and, and right. Just in general, we talk about like just growing in life, right. And the people that don't necessarily grow as people, as they get older, the ones that have the harder thing, right. So I look at my Disney, you know, as kind of this microcosm of let's say life. And it used to be get up rope drop, go every single ride, make sure I did everything at every park and then come back. And it's just, I said, listen, it may work for some people, but I think in general, it's a really bad way to try to do Disney. You know, that FOMO is is tough. I get it, right? And especially if you haven't been there in 10 years, but I think you just need to chill a little bit. That's my advice if you haven't been there in 10 years. Yeah, and I mean, I, I think probably you got to figure out, you know, you definitely have to have a plan, right? Like you have to know what you want to do and what you don't want to do. And and if you haven't been there in 10 years, you know, there's a lot of new stuff, you know, from 10 years ago, right? So, yeah. Yeah. you know, if that if you want to do all the new stuff, plan to do all the new stuff. And, and you know, if there's certain things that you want to do from a long time ago, then, then do that. I mean, I think it's also just acquainting yourself, too, with the... Uh, like just the apps and all of the technology that's involved, right? I mean, even 10 years ago, things were a little more, not really that much more manual, but it was it was not, you know. It was a lot more just show up and go not, yeah. like, plan ahead. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, so literally my recommendation would be travel agent. Like, you know, you can do a Disney travel agent. They're free. They don't cost anything. Disney pays them, basically. I mean, it's a good way to 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 have someone else do all the hard work for you. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to so, say? Yeah, go interestingly enough, I I actually had a coworker that was in the situation. This was a couple of years ago now, but um they came to me because they were they were doing an RV trip and their their plan was, you know, from where I live, they were going to, you know, drive down the West Coast and go to California, so go to Disneyland and they came to me asking questions about, you know, you know, Hey, you know, I've like, like same kind of thing. They're like, you know, we went, we went to Disney, like when we were really young, don't really remember it, you know, what to expect. Right. And so I kind of walked them through like what you guys have talked about here is, you, you know, setting expectations and saying, you know, look, you, you know, don't, don't think you're going to do everything in a day there. It's, it's not possible. And, um, I, I kind of, I think the thing that helped was, and, and you know, to your point, Tom, about, you know, a travel agent, um, I don't, I guess my experience with travel agents in the past was, you know, they're, they're great at helping like, you know, book things and plan the overall trip. But if you want to get down into like, um, a little more detail and, and that's, and, you know, more talking about like rides and attractions and stuff like that. Um, I don't think travel agents are are good for that. Or I guess maybe the ones I've dealt with, I, they weren't like, you know, if I, if I said, you know, Hey, what ride should I go on first? They would kind of go, I don't know. like. It wasn't. I mean, that's not helpful. how I was as a travel agent. I tell you everything, so <laughs> right. But but I, and I, I guess that's where you know you know talking with my my friend is. I was like, you know, I I kind of I explained to them, you know, you know, here are like the the big attractions, and then I kind of asked I asked them a bunch of questions about you know what how are your kids like like you know what do you guys like are yeah. your kids like scary rides do you like you know you know and then kind of got a feel for what they were interested in. And then I kind of, I just gave my recommendations around, you know, you know, you should probably check out these things. And then when they went, you, you know, they, they went and they did the trip that came back and and he came and told me later, he was like, you know, that it was awesome. You know, you know, your advice was spot on, you know, you know, this made sense. And, you know, he was glad that he just, he had that frame of mind that he didn't get there and kind of like walk in the door and try to do whatever was coming at him. Like he, like knowing ahead of time, is the biggest thing. And, and and I think it's, you know, if you're going to plan or if you're going to give advice to somebody that's going like in like 10 year gaps is, you know, that you, you have to plan it. Like, like in my opinion, you, it's not just like booking the tickets and saying, I'm going to this park this day. It's, you know, like you said, just understanding what it is and where things are, because being like, there's good surprises at Disney, but being surprised by Disney, like meaning that, you know, you come in the door and you're just overwhelmed. Um, yeah, it's, it's very easy to do. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So why don't we, uh, why don't we go ahead and do our ad and then we can, uh, Damon can read his review that he wants to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go, we'll kind of go from there. Cause it is, it is a bit of a light news week. Um, so we don't have a, f- a, a lot of other topics this week. So, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, do our ad here for uh, DVC Rental Store. 
The DVC Rental Store, a world of DVC company, offers magical vacations at incredible value. Save up to 60% off retail rates at premium Disney resorts. DVC Rental Store now includes deposits as low as 25% at the time of booking and a built-in cancellation policy for every reservation. And as always, DVC Rental Store pays out the most to members looking to rent their points. Want to learn more? Go to dvcrentalstore.com or call 1-855-DVC-RENT. That's 1-855-382-7368. And be sure to let them know that Welcome Home sent you. I've actually, I've been told, I've been told, guys, I didn't even tell you guys this, uh, that they are working on putting drop downs on all the other sites uh, where that Welcome Home referred them. So, that you know, so there will be a drop down at some point that people can select. Good. That Welcome Home referred them. So... <laughs> I don't know when. I don't know when it's going to happen, though. So it's going to be soon. So anyway, they, they can still tell them that Welcome Home sent them. I think they could do that. Yeah, they can still do that. That's fine. But you know, there will also be a drop down at some point that will say you were referred by us. So which we would appreciate. If Is it you- going to be the same time as my hat? Around that same time. <laughs> okay. <Got Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit. You just shady. need to bring this up with every guest we get from World of DVC on the show. It just every time it just needs oh, to keep coming up right. until you get it. It'll get you'll get it someday. It's gonna happen. I, I mean, I feel like when I I go down there for this non park trip, all I'm gonna have to do is worry about this hat. Like, just show up at World of DVC's headquarters and just be like, I, 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 yeah, my maybe hat? I just do that and be like, <laughs> hey, <my> like, <laughs> where's my hat at? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, that works. Do that. I'm sure they love that. (laughs) I mean, you know, it's funny. Again, like, I I feel like I never really have the time to stop by and chat with them at the end of the day, because whenever we're down there, you know, we're worried about going to the park, which, again, you know, almost negates what I just said about, you know, being a little more chill. But it's different to actually head out of the bubble to do something. Yeah, yeah. Even if you're trying to be chill. But again, this time I won't really have... um, um, Maybe I'll stop by the office. You should stop by their office. It looks nice. Where is it? It's somewhere in the area. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, I think it's not far from Disney. Okay. I think. Will they pick me up in a limo, maybe? I mean, I'm sure they can They can arrange something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car. We'll be okay. Even though our car is like, we were talking today, like it's truly, truly on its last legs. And, and we have a, a minivan from, I want to say 2000. 12, 10, 12, okay. I want to say 12, right? And, you know, it doesn't sound like it's that old, but like, it's just been this beat, right? Like, because yeah. again, kids, sports, trips, travel, like everything like that. And I'm just like, is it even going to make it down there again? Because then my daughter's like, oh, we have to take one last trip with this car. And I'm like, yeah, but is it going to really make it down there? Like, it's so bad that like the paint's peeling off of it. Oh, and like, I just, I'm like, what am I doing? Like with this, I'm not going to get it repainted because it's, you know, it's almost got, a, you know, 200,000 miles on it. So anyway, it will be interesting. So yeah. So on so, to this review. So Damon, uh, first, yeah. so I did, I looked up their address there. They're a 25 minute drive from uh, Saratoga. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little far. <laughs> a, little, a little bit, a little bit. It's only 13 miles though. I mean, it's just, you know. I feel like maybe if we're going like that way for some sort of mini golf, like if there's mini golf their way, I'm sure can, there like, probably double up. is. Yeah. But I mean, it, like at least has to be mini golf that gets me into that 15 minute window. All right. Yeah. That makes you sense. Get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah no, I, see, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So I'll have to start doing some like, you know, map quest or I'm dating myself. Some, some <laughs> Google maps from, <laughs> from like their place to mini golf and then see what that window looks like yeah that that's that's what you got to do but yeah or, or make them send you a car <laughs> <laughs> or make them just come to saratoga springs to be but honest you could do that too i mean they i mean but but here's the thing i feel like if they come then they're going to conveniently forget the hat i feel like if i show up <laughs> like wait where's the warehouse like you know do i have to go to somebody's house that they have them in the garage or like they hear somewhere like i don't know I, Derek and or Marissa would definitely come to Saratoga Springs and meet up with you. I know they would. Yeah, but again, but are they coming with a hat? Like I'm gonna have. It's gonna be like a hostage situation. <laughs> Send me a picture with you in the hat in the car. Today's newspaper. <laughs> with today's newspaper before I commit to actually meeting up with you guys. You have to prove it's the correct date. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. feel like after all this shade, if you did show up at their office, Derek would be standing out front with the hat, like. I mean, maybe it could be like a reunion sort of video we could make, right? Like, oh, we, we could do like, well, we could and, do and a dramatic, like, but, yeah, right. But here's <laughs> the problem that I'm kind of concerned about. 
So with the Epcot hat, it really didn't fit. And and I don't know if it didn't fit because of this hair situation, which we just talked about in the beginning of the episode, or just a, a, a big head situation. Like, I, I don't understand. Was it made for kids? It really was. I, I don't know because bucket hats are a tough thing. I have certain bucket hats that are absolutely perfect, right? Yeah. Perfect fitting. But then there's other ones that are just not. And so I bought myself a hat stretcher finally, right? Nice. And um the problem is like you start to get like if there's this weird spot of like stretching it just enough but not ripping the seam sort of thing. So I just I hope that if this hat is made for uh you know people that can uh have a little bit of it's hair adjustable, and can, maybe you know, maybe it's adjustable. I, I assumed it was hey, a there's no such there's no, there's no such thing as an adjustable bucket hat. No, no, not bucket hat. You're right. Now I'm talking about bucket hats. That's okay, what I'm sorry. talking about here. You're right, you're right. Sorry, Trevor, yeah. what were you gonna say? Oh, I, I was thinking like a you know a snapback baseball cap. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Just bucket hat situation here. So right. I'm just I'm just imagining the the nine one one call of uh, of them calling and saying uh, a man won't leave our lobby. He's demanding a hat. And no one knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out. We ran out. <laughs> we don't have any more. But he won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. So so this review, I guess that people who can't see the US iTunes, so this is an iTunes review. It made me laugh so hard that like I, I'm I was not really that upset with it. I mean, Tom was upset for a little while because it pushed us into that four four rating. But then what I did is I went out and asked my son to have his friends review the podcast, which some of them I didn't realize we have like four new reviews. On we top do, of we that. have four new reviews. Yeah. So, and again, I, I'm sure some of them are from his friends and some of them are not. So anyway, it was interesting because now we're back up to 4.5. I think Tom feels better about did, that. Yeah, and thank sure. you everyone else that, that I just that don't took understand care. how this review you're about to read is a one star review because this person obviously listens to the show. Well, well right? that's the like, whole part. We, we can get into all that. So it starts off with the title of does Mr. Busy really need more to do? And I'm assuming that this is just about the fact that, you know, I was talking about some shows we're doing, which now the sports show, I think, has a great title. It was it was something side uh, tales from the sideline in my lawn chair. I think is, like that, yeah. is the sports one, which I think is going to be absolutely phenomenal once I get around to doing that. And then what's in my attic? So I, I think they were upset about that. So so let's just talk about this channel. And again, new episodes end of February, just so everyone knows, right? And make sure I plug that in there. The, the first real episode will be the end of February and they will be monthly. Here's the thing about that, which I don't think this person really can wrap their head around. I have to clean my attic. Regardless, I have to clean my attic. Here's the thing. So me and my kids always talk about, you know, well, they're, okay, take a step back. So my son comes in my closet and he's like, I can't believe you have like, 80s vintage stuff. First of all, I still don't understand how 80s is vintage, but right, doing the math it is, which is crazy, right? <laughs> uh, crazy that it's uh, over 25 uh, years old, 30 years old. And he's like, yo, can I borrow that? Can I take that? Can I take that? And I'm like, you can borrow them, but like, I want them back at some point. So mm -hmm. just understand that. So here's the thing. As I go in the attic and I'm doing this, which again, the show is really just about me cleaning my attic and repacking stuff. And I'm telling you, I have a lot of my stuff from 70s, 80s, 90s, and then my kids' stuff, kids' stuff from the 2000, 2010, right? So there's just a lot of stuff up there. And what the goal of this was is for really for my kids at the end of the day. So I go through it all. They'll know, like, you know, again, I'm going to tell little stories about some of the stuff that if I remember, because gosh, there's probably stuff I don't remember. And it's really for my kids. And if other people enjoy that, that's great too, right? So again, they're knocking something that they really don't even understand what the you know whole reasoning of it is for. But that's okay. So here's the actual review. This guy can't even show up for this show, but he's going to add his own YouTube channel. I mean, I guess they didn't know I had a YouTube channel before that's got like millions of views, but okay. Um, we know what's in your attic. And this is where it gets hysterical. A box full of Speedos and pickleball rackets. Maybe do a show with people playing pickleball in big capital letters, Speedos, while watching Gummy Bear cartoons. <laughs> so and, and it's, it, it, it's, so it's And that's the thing. So obviously they listen to the show so often because I don't think that in one episode I talked about Gummy Bears. I don't think I've ever talked about Speedos, by the way. No. Um, just, we've just, we've never... Equating swimming with Speedos, right? Yeah. Well, yep, I guess they're doing that. And, and Pickleball, I've probably talked about four or five episodes max. Mm -hmm. And it's so, been a while since you've even talked about it. It's been yeah, I mean, it, right? so, so, it was so, a thing for a bit. It, it was like they obviously listen to the show. 
so this is what I equated it to. It would be like watching, and, and it's so funny because someone actually told me another good thing. It would be like watching Supernatural or Grey's Anatomy from start to finish and then complaining about it. Why did you watch it all? Like, why do you what? listen what? then, guy? <laughs> like, why are you listening? You listen to so many episodes that this is what you put together. I found it extremely humorous. and It was funny, yeah. I laughed about it, and my whole family laughed. Other people I told laughed. Like, it's so funny. It, I ended up dr- taking Gruffy Gummy, <laughs> putting him in a Speedo, and a pickleball racket in his hand, and posting it in the Discord, and I, I found it funny. <laughs> so, so, it, it so again, just, just so you know... Um, I like, I, I was busy doing my own thing this week yeah. and I got a discord notification on my phone and I didn't have any context, but I saw <laughs> no it like context. you posted <laughs> and then I looked at the picture and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> what is, <laughs> what is this? And then I, I just put it away. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to talk to Damon about this this weekend, but then, <laughs> I'm not going to ask questions. Just going <laughs> to, no, it's, it, it, it's again, though, the thing that's so crazy is that this person obviously took all this time to go about and, and write this. Like, what are they so mad about? Like, okay, you don't want to watch my YouTube channel. Okay. Then don't watch it. But like, why are you mad about it? Like, and I'm telling you, they're probably going to watch, right? Like this, this sort of person, if they listen to everything, they're probably going to watch anyway and be mad. Like I can only, I can only understand what sort of comments I'm going to get on on the YouTube channel, right? Because there's actually a place to comment. But just it, extremely hysterical to me. So then, like I said, I asked my uh, son's friends to to get us back up. But since that time, we've gotten a few other ones, um, and. and so, so this is again like when everyone does stuff like that they don't realize that there's other people so this is what this other person said which again this is a great one so the other thing that bothered me early on was damon lol i was always like if he's too busy to be here and never has anything good to say what's the point well i've come to realize that i may or that i actually relate to damon a lot while i may not agree with some of his opinions which is exactly their only yeah, opinions yeah. he brings a different perspective that i likely wouldn't have considered otherwise And with two littles right now, I'm picturing myself being him in the not too distant future, having two girls doing everything from gymnastics to softball to field hockey to drag racing cars. Exactly. Yes. (laughs) Exactly. So that's not one of your kids' friends, obviously. (laughs) No, 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 no. Um, But but exactly right. Like that's the the whole whole point. Yeah, that's the whole point. And I think that's why we're we're all comfortable on this podcast, and why like we're all at those in various phases of life and like, like, I guess I, you're right. It it blows my mind that somebody can't see that, that it's like, you know, you, you're allowed. They listen so much. Yeah. They listen so much, but it's like, (laughs) you are, you are allowed to have your own opinion and you are allowed to, you know, not like what the rest of us like and that's well, fine like, yeah and, and i guess the other thing is that people don't understand is like you know tom does a really good job at kind of corralling us all together right probably mm-hmm. more me than trevor trevor's a lot more responsible on being on time and not having to be corralled but here's the thing at the end of the day like a lot of the stuff that i do outside of this is this it's poor timing right like mm. as a for all the swim parents or the you know people that understand that their kids play sports like we record the show at the same time that a lot of that happens, sure. right? Yeah. So it makes it a little bit harder. So when I'm doing like video for like, you know, what's in my attic, it's probably when Trevor is still sleeping on Saturday. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not stopping the show from happening. It's not ever stopping me from being on the show. Yeah. It's not like I tell these guys, oh, dude, like I, I can't be on the show. I got to record video. No, it's like, that's, hey, that's man. You've never done that, right? Like, no, it's like, like, oh, I can't do the show. I got to do the attic show. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like I'm doing that outside of this time. It's funny because one of the things I really want to do um, is I want to play D&D, right? And and again, the, the for anyone that I, I talked about this already, The Legend of Vox, um, right, is on again. Season two mm-hmm. is out. And it is even better than season one, like by far in terms of like being the ultimate D and D cartoon that has ever existed ever, ever, ever. Well, yeah, um, Cause it's, I mean, it's all critical role. Yeah. People, it's, right? it's, so th- this season is so good, like already anyway. Um, and I was like, you know, I really want to start playing, you know, D and D. And then I'm like, Oh, well there's a Reddit group called looking for group. Like, wow, I have to put in applications, but okay. I could play some, Again, is that going to stop me from doing the show? 
No, because I'm just going to look for a spot that plays, you know, during my hours, which which are going to be tough. I feel like it's going to be like Sunday nights from six to nine. And that's about as much as I can stand. But like, I'm looking for something like that, but it's not going to stop this. Again, the reason I'm not on shows is I'm on vacation or the kids have sports. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't really know that, but like, I, 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 I guess that's the thing is, you know, you know, we, we, as the host, we're never surprised by this. Yes. Right. Like, like, I guess, I guess if, if neither Tom nor I are upset about it. Yeah. Why are you upset about other it? People are so upset. About it. It's yeah. like, I hate you, but why aren't you on the show? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to be on. So dumb. Yeah. You should be celebrating if he's not maybe, on. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a weird, maybe this is like how um, people do reality TV. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like, like, I, I think back to like, uh, sorry, I'm, I know dating myself, but like the first season of Survivor, sure. right? Okay. Like years and years ago, um, Richard Hatch, like he was painted as the villain in that season. Like, like people didn't like him because he was, he was actually playing the game. He was, you know, fairly calculated and they were like, Oh, I hope he doesn't win. I remember, I remember that at the time, like, you know, the, the general vibe that I saw, you know, from people talking about it, like, you know, there was people in my school that were talking about it. And it was like, people just wanted to dislike him. And, but the, but the reality was, is, you know, he was just doing his thing. And for whatever reason, you know, people painted him as a villain. And I feel like this person's doing the same thing with you, which again, I don't, I don't understand it myself because it's, you know, we all come on here and we're respectful of one, one another. So why, why does it have to be one person's good, one person's bad? Or I don't like, you know, you know fine. You don't like that person's opinion. That doesn't mean you have to like keep listening to it. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Just, but I, I love that the, the, the biggest thing about it is I love that they brought gummy bears into it. It, it yeah. would not have been the same if gummy bears weren't brought in yeah. to the episode. I mean, to this review, which is which is absolutely great. But specifically watching like I'm, I'm trying to envision how this would work. Would you, would you have like a big screen with? Yeah, like, like gummy so bears so the board the that would, would have your scores, right? Yeah. Okay, would also yeah. be playing gummy bears at the same time. Right. Yeah. Right. It, remember, it's not high def gummy bears, so they can just put it in the corner. It's a square, so it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Stick it in the corner, you know, while they're going over pickleball highlights. I mean, I wonder if I could recreate such a thing somewhere. I I mean, <laughs> I, mean I just assume good. that every time you watch gummy bears, you're doing it with a pickleball racket in hand and a speedo. That's uh, just what my assumption is now. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I can, I can tell you that in my attic, there is definitely my high school speedos like, from – swimming so i mean i guess that's possible i mean i'm sure they're dry rot at this point but gosh <laughs> by the way i don't you didn't i don't think you read did you read the first part of that positive review because i liked that pro- first part too um the guys have good chemistry off the wall listener questions oh yeah when i first started listening i was like this doesn't help me learn more about the parks and dvc what's the point well i've come to learn there's only so much you can really learn and the guys make answering them so entertaining and i look forward to the questions yeah and i even try to come up with my own yeah it's, yeah i mean you know for for the thing is like, like the thing with the questions is is like you know we started doing that like pro- during was COVID. It? yeah it was during covid right where there wasn't a lot of news to talk about and like the off the wall questions were you know just the thing that kind of started happening i i blame dan for it um group mm-hmm. expert dan. i do too but but dude, yeah the show fun. would be yeah. boring if it wasn't this is this, this is what yeah. i always say at the end of the day right our house, right? Do whatever oh, yeah. we want. But if you don't want to listen, then just don't listen. Like, I just, I find it odd that you're going to be so specific and then come and put a one star and then like waste your time even doing a review. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But out of these new reviews, what I will say is, again, a question that we probably get asked all the time. Yeah. And this is absolutely fine because they, you know, left a five star review. So it's a okay. So since we're all over the map geography wise, you know, how did we get to know each other? It's, it's a very simple story. You know, as Tom will tell you, he put yeah. a post in a, you know, the DVC vacation club group. Um, and again, right. The Facebook algorithm obviously wanted us all to be together and do this show. Cause that's all it really comes down to is the algorithm to be 100% honest with you. Right. It, yep. that's what it was. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Trevor, myself, and I think Tom said, right. Somebody else. There was some other person, but they didn't meet up with us. They just didn't show up. Yeah. And yeah. then we, we just maybe, did it. So maybe literally that's the that. one star review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look the, at how the, good this show is now. I should have did it. The fourth I wonder, member. Can we, can, we, can we track them down on Facebook? I feel like. And, and oh, man, them. I quit that group no. so long ago. I don't know if I still have the history of it. Uh, I, 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 know. I have to look. I'll have to. It, may, it might be in my messenger because it was it was through Facebook messenger. I might that would be great if we could bring them on the show. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. That would be like full circle. Like I would love that. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's, that's a good question. Cause it is, uh, you know, it is the good, a good question. And like, you know, Trevor and, and Damon still really haven't met up. So even no. though we've been doing it, this for so long, mm. so, you know, but I think what throws everyone off is, is that Tom, myself, well, I mean, it even just pains me to say this. I mean, I grew up in New Jersey and Tom kind of sort of grew up in New Jersey. You guys um, are lucky that. And then like, we both moved enough. down yeah. to North Carolina, <laughs> yeah, probably know. around the same time and are pretty yeah. close in yeah. proximity in North Carolina, which is crazy. It's which ran- would it would make you really think random. that we knew each other previously. Yeah. Yeah. It is kind of random that it happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty random. And then Trevor's all the way out there in Cal- Calgary. Exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. We got to get him out for the, I'm telling you, for this Hilton Head, like this Hilton Head trip. Yeah, I'm still yeah. about this, man. We're gonna make something happen where we we get all the three of us together at some point. It's just it's it, schedules are so hard. It's, <laughs> yeah. it, it is hard, right? Like like for and yeah, you know, kind of the same challenge as Damon is, you know, for for me to travel like for you, it's you know you're traveling around, but geographically you're not. I'm not committing. A, I'm not making a full commit. Like he'll yeah, yeah, five you're, and a half hour drive. Yeah, you're you're not going across a continent absolutely right? <laughs> like and and that's the hard part is that like like and, and i've talked about this like even you know for the meetup last year i was you know it worked out really well that i could do it but you know it's not like saying oh yeah you know i'm gonna go gonna go over to the east coast for the weekend like that that's that's, that's hard. hard to do yeah. like it yeah it, yeah. it doesn't yeah, like if you were really if drive. you were like hey yeah. i have to go to hilton head next week i'd be like yeah okay and i just go but yeah you can't do that yeah, it's it's tough. Yeah, so sure. yeah, it's it, that's going to be the hard part, and yeah, you know, hopefully we we do figure it out here at some point, but you know, we'll keep trying, but uh, <laughs> we'll keep trying to make it happen. And yeah, one of these days, yeah, we'll do another meetup at some point too, where we you know do the do what we did last time because I mean that worked out really well, and we all, we had a good time doing. I feel that. like there was and, swimming. We just have to do it like when there's no some, swimming. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, and I think it's again once my middle one goes to college, right? His swim schedule is going to be really in season just to college. So it will open up the rest of the year. Like now it's all year, but it will be not all year then. I mean, he'll be working out, but I don't know nothing I need to go see. Yeah. I mean, we had maybe Damon will take up skiing. Yeah. And he can come up here. (laughs) Unless I win that HGTV home of the year, right? I think it's in Colorado this year, the dream home. Well, then I, I said, I would have to take up skiing. I, here's my, my problem with skiing is one. I think I was just, I went on a school ski trip when I was in seventh grade and it just, the, the T bar lift just <laughs> m- made an embarrassment out of me. You it, tried it, to sit on it, didn't you? Yeah. It just yeah. It embarrassed me. It's and, okay. We all did. And then it. I, I couldn't <laughs> really, I, I couldn't stop at skiing. Like if, if you put me on something, like I was pretty good just again, this is so long ago, but I was pretty good at skiing, but I couldn't stop, but that was such a disaster. And then the T bar, it just, as a seventh grader, it just, ruined me for skiing and now as i'm older like every time someone likes gonna go skiing like my son's friend who is 18 who already had one acl surgery he was going skiing like two weeks ago i was like dude don't let skiing take another one of your acls man oh, seriously? a lot of my yeah. friends that mm-hmm. ski have had their acl took from them and i have no interest in going through an acl surgery so this is skiing why, is probably off my list yeah this is what i always like i went skiing when i was a kid and i was like you would see all you'd see people on the side of the mountain just like getting like uh snowmobiled off the mountain it's like yeah no that, let's not do this i don't i don't want to do this anymore you know yeah. like i'm good well, cause, <laughs> i mean cause, listen it, it can be an accident anywhere that you, yeah, you know you get your acl took but i feel like playing like basketball or something like that like yeah i can kind of mitigate my risk by not being as you know jocko about it let's say we're in skiing like dude the, the slope just taking your acl there's nothing you can do about it like it's not like you can do anything <laughs> about it i mean i mean gravity is a bigger force for sure yeah 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 like it does not trying to have my acl took i'm just not <laughs> <laughs> i get it i get it well wow, we really went off the rails there uh <laughs> yeah I, I mean i was i was just trying to figure out a way like, like i know yeah you know me, me coming to you guys definitely makes sense but i was just trying to figure out a way to justify you guys coming up to alberta yeah, i don't fly though man and that trip is not one that i'm trying to make i i'm just i'm being honest you know we have some of the best skiing and like the mountains and everything are awesome yeah. up here i i just I, I will plug it because you know for those that have been here know like you know it's it's really a beautiful place to to come and visit i mean you know living here is awesome but yeah yeah. 
you know, or maybe uh, once one of us gets to out to Disneyland, we can meet up at Disneyland. Look at that. That's really, too. what we yeah. should be doing is a cruise. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. Cruise. Yeah, I'd love to do a cruise. <laughs> hmm. I, I mean, it, yeah, oh, I but guess your wife wouldn't be able to go, Trevor. And that's a problem. yeah. It, I would have yeah, to be solo on the cruise, that, and that's that, just not as fun. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. I guess that's the thing. You know, if, if I could, you know, I guess you know, if we were gonna go on a cruise, and it was like, you know, we were we were going on a cruise. I could see us doing that because, you know, then I have somebody to hang out with. If it was like yeah. I was just going by myself. Um, yeah, no, like it, I, I would never just like solo book a cruise. And yeah. I get yeah. I'll be honest with you. I don't like to travel by myself, like in general. It's weird. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Weird. Like, <laughs> I don't like it. Like these people that like do those like and listen, I get it. But that's just not me. Like I'm yeah. cool during the day when I'm doing stuff. But at night, I'm like. I'm just really just here by myself, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I don't like that. No, I don't like you know, that, man. I, I might be the weird one where I kind of enjoy like I've never I'd never really done it until I did the the meetup. Mm. And like I kind of enjoyed it in a way of just like no, I didn't have to answer it any like I just responsibility could, is yeah. just one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I could just wander into Magic Kingdom and be like not have a goal. I could just be like, oh, let me just wander around until I find some oh look, an ice cream Sunday. Let's do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, which yeah. you usually don't get that kind of freedom as much. So it was I liked that piece of it. But yeah, it's you're right. At night it's just kind of like I'm here by myself and you know. But I mean, yeah. I was with Trevor for most of the time and we were with listeners yeah. too for a lot of it, so Gotcha. The, yeah. The thing that got me was, yeah, you know, um, like like you're saying, you know, getting back to the room when it was like, okay, you mm-hmm. know, you know, bye, you know, we we both go back to our rooms. I, I I talked to my wife every night, and you know, basically, it was you know, I was briefing yeah. her on you know what we did throughout the day, but it was also, you know, to be honest, I was always used to whenever we travel, I'm or you know, there's always multiple people in the room, and it was nice to just talk to my wife because, you mm. know, like you're saying, Damon. I don't, I've never traveled alone or like I, or until last year, like I've never really traveled alone. So it was, you know, I still needed somebody to talk to even when I was in the room by myself and, you know, I was missing my wife because it's like, she's across the country. So. (laughs) Well, that was a good segue though, into the cruise uh, news I have. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, (laughs) uh, let's circle back around on this. Um, the, the headline says new fireworks show, special castaway, club gift announced for disney cruise line silver anniversary at sea yeah so 25th anniversary of disney cruise line so as part of that they're uh debuting a new fireworks show uh, it looks like there's also going to be a new sh- signature song i guess okay cool um <laughs> then they're also i like this uh this limited edition uh castaway club gift that they're doing that's a framed photo of this piece of art, which is like really nice. A nice framed art print in your stateroom. Hmm. I like it. I'd put that somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where, but if I got it, I would put it somewhere. I feel like I have a lot of things that I would like to do that with. Just put, put somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That I just don't have the room. Like yeah. you just <laughs> okay. need an art gallery in your house. That's all. Yeah, That's all you need. Wouldn't just that be great? Get another wing on the house. That's, you know, yeah. oh, that would be <laughs> phenomenal. I mean, I had these dreams of like when we were building this house, I was going to like have all my movie posters that I had framed like 10 of them and then have them put in a room. Like, yeah, no, it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be nice. Right. <laughs> um, I wish I had that too, actually. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 you know, those photos I got for or the, the attraction posters I got framed are still sitting in the box. I still haven't done anything with them. I really, I really need to get on that. <laughs> yeah. Understood. Understood. Yeah. So yeah. I, I read here that the, the artwork for this uh, castaway club was done by Joe Kaminsky, which it says whose work was featured in the art of Disney gallery. So I know Tom, you, Yes. would go and get stuff from Art of Disney. Do you have any of Joe Kaminsky's other works? I don't think so, because the stuff I usually get is uh, like Imagineering sketches of like, uh, you know, like old mm. sections of the park or attraction posters. And, the, and usually they are the old design of the attraction poster, right? So it's not usually the stuff I get is not like art specifically you know and it's it's more of like uh something that already existed that they repurposed into being art you know so got it yeah so no i don't think i have any of his stuff now the one thing i have actually i have two pieces oh gosh is the one i don't think that now i don't think i have any of his stuff I, I not that i can think of so yeah anyway 
Okay. You, what you need to do, Damon, it was I think it was Guillermo del Toro, the 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 director. He bought the house next to his, and he just filled it with all his stuff. And so you got that would be the best thing ever. <laughs> I feel like it's, I, it, it's always like you need one more room. It doesn't matter how many rooms you have in a house. Like I always need one more room. I feel like now if I end up finishing this attic project, which includes putting a room up there, but my son would take over that room, and then maybe I'd make his room like we. My wife and daughter want a craft room. And I feel like if I had a craft room, fine, you can have a craft room, but then I get to put all the posters in it. It would just be yeah. like a, a craft slash poster room. I, I, just, I guess I could, could listen, I do have a game room on the side of the house. I could okay. like I have like some like, you know, canvassy sort of like welcome to the theater sort of stuff. I guess I could rip all that stuff off the wall and just put movie posters up there. I just pulled up an article about this Guillermo del Toro. He is he made it literally bought a house and made it into a museum, and it's a horror museum. And one of the pieces he has in it in this picture is a, is the Hatbox Ghost from the uh, Haunted Mansion. Actually, so that's awesome. The actual figure of the ha- Hatbox Ghost, like a full standing mm-hmm. feature if, figure, right in the window. It's pretty cool. Hmm. That yeah. that would be impressive, and yeah. that does not surprise me for Guillermo del Toro. Wasn't he gonna do? He was gonna do a Hunter Mansion movie, wasn't he? He was, and and I feel it would have yeah. been it would have been awesome, but it would have been on the same level as uh, uh, Alien Encounter. Like, <laughs> yeah. It, w- it would have scared a lot of kids because a lot of adults would have been like, "Let's watch Haunted Mansion together." Yeah, he, <laughs> this is I, like I, Eddie Murphy, right? I would love to see them go like hard R on like a Haunted Mansion movie, though. Like how That'd cool be would awesome. that be, right? Like. They could totally do it. I, they just would have to like, like not call it like Disney's Haunted Mansion. It would have to be something totally different. But yeah, yeah. And anyway, get, get the guy who did the ring in there or something like just make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's somebody that's a lot <laughs> just of cool terrifying. Stuff. Yeah, just really terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I, you know, I, this this probably means nothing to either one of you two because your kids are a lot older, but like. For me, this news was actually kind of big. Was uh, that Enchanted Tales with Bell is coming back, as well as the Ariel Grotto character experience? Um, you know, the last time I was there, the one thing I was really bummed about was that the uh, that Enchanted Tales with Bell was not open because my daughter loves Bell. She would have like flipped out at that whole that whole show. Um, mm-hmm. Also, if you haven't done that show before. I mean, there are a couple effects in that show that are some of the coolest that Disney has. Like, and I don't want to like spoil it for anybody, but like, I, the, I've seen video yeah. of it. I've actually watched a video of it, and yeah, I know what you're talking about. And yeah. right, it it is very cool. Um, hard hard for me to justify. And, and again, you know, this kind of goes back to Damon's point about uh, you know saying you're going to chill when you're in in the parks, but you don't really Yeah, um, <laughs> that, you know, slowing down enough to go and watch a show like that. I just, I don't know if I would have time during my trip to, or yeah, as it stands right now, I don't want to stop and watch a show. No, truthfully, <laughs> listen, truthfully, the show too, it, it very specifically is for kids, kids. right? Like it, it really is. It, I mean, cause they have like, like participate and they like act out stuff and like, it's, it is not, something where you really as an as an adult would necessarily just go to even though my wife and i did but like i said i love you know i i'm a big fan of like the effects and the imagineering and stuff like that so i just go for that like just the way that you get into the show is amazing right and if mm-hmm. you and if and I, like i said i don't want to ruin it for anybody but you know if you want to you go go google it i'm sure it's out there somewhere but like there's just an effect that they do that is every time i've ever watched it i've just been like i have no idea how that one works like I've I've seen a lot of the different things they do, and I can kind of figure them out. That one just baffles me every time I see it, and it's it's and they, they have some animatronics in there too that are pretty impressive. So the whole thing is a, a really nicely uh, done show, and so that's coming back on February nineteenth, and then the aerial character. It's basically just a character meet and greet, right? That's coming back on the twenty second. So that's actually today. That's that's as we're recording this. Uh, you're listening to this on the twenty third or beyond. Um, but you know the the big crowds at uh, Disney World today are not because of Ariel coming back. It's probably more because Splash Mountain today's the last day. So I don't know if you guys saw it's a like two hundred <laughs> minutes right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say I, I I don't know a way we could like draw a correlation between the two. Like, well, I, obviously I, I everyone's think, there for Ariel, right? <laughs> yeah, clearly every, everyone wants to go meet Ariel. It's not it's anything the, about Splash Mountain going away. Yeah, it's yeah no, it's not the two hundred minute wait at splash mountain yeah which would you wait 200 minutes for splash mountain even if it's the last never. time no never 
two hundred. I mean, that's that's. A long I, I mean, I like Splash Mountain, but I mean, it's a long film. Well, and it's we, not like. Go ahead, sorry, Trevor. I was gonna say back in November we we got in standby for it. And it was like thirty five minutes, and I was kind of eh, like, like at I, the edge of how long. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was pushing it for me. So yeah, two hundred minutes, no way. Yeah, that's it's even though it's the very last. So today's the very last day for it. So it will close after this, and then they will start building the Tiana. I mean, that's the thing. It's going to be the same ride. It's just going to have different stuff on the inside, right? Like yeah, the story I'm, is going to be different. So I'm excited for it. I'm I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Me too. Yeah. For sure. My, for sure. My, my daughter hates log flumes, though. It's always such a pain to get her on stuff. She does not like the drops at all. I hate oh. log flumes, too. This is the yeah, same. But, so. <laughs> my, my wife avoids them, but me and my son love them. So I'm I'm glad that we get to, you know, go back and experience a new version of it. Yeah. And, and it's, it's you know, funny, too, because my, my sister, who was just there, I guess, in November, I want to say, she they went on it then and she was telling me she's like everything was broken like all, yeah like yeah, nothing you, your was sister broken. your yeah. sisters are the same time we were and yeah yeah I yeah it, i think i mentioned that as well that like yeah you you could see like they were not maintaining it at all like there was a lot of effects that were just not even running in the ride <laughs> which i guess why would you replace them if they're just gonna rip everything out in you exactly know, a couple weeks right <laughs> but <Yeah>. still <laughs> I will say, you know, you said that these things wouldn't apply. My wife actually really does like the aerial meet and greet. Oh, yeah, she sure. Does. She goes out of her way to to go and do that because she does like doing the character meets. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, for her, that's that's great that Ariel's Grotto is back because that gives her something to do while we're going on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to talk some food? I, I always want to talk about food. I know it's in Disneyland. I just like talking about food. <sighs> No. I'm gonna stay for the food, just all right, just because. But I, I can't stay for the news. But let's see what the food's about. All right, all right. Well, this, it's just it's annoying because it's stuff I'm just not eating. You're not gonna get to eat. Mm-hmm. Well, what if you want to try to make it at home? You know, it gives you an idea, right? I'm not gonna make any of this at home. <laughs> I'm not Stop. making any of this at home. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, what about a lemon tea cake? You're not gonna do some lemon curd, some lemon zest glaze, a fresh sliced lemon. I love lemon. I'm. I'm I don't I'm, like lemon in my desserts. My really. No, my son's girlfriend made a lemon pound cake, and it's just – it's okay. It's like one of those yeah. things that's like, it's okay, but I don't want to waste calories on it, to be honest with you. What about a pecan brownie with chocolate don't trouble like mousse? Pecan. Nope. Pecans or pecans? Which one do you go with? Pecans? I, pecans? I pecans. pecans. Yeah, pecans. I don't know. I think I say it both pecans, ways. Pecans, I think, but I don't – Chocolate them, truffle no. mousse, red berries, and milk chocolate mousse. I don't like ganache. Let me just put this out there. I just don't love ganache. All right. I don't want the red berries in it, personally. Oh, Everything I'm else- good with the red berries because that tart kind of balances out. But I just don't like ganache. Like, what is it? It's like chocolate sewage. Like, it's still <laughs> chocolate, so it's okay. But, like, dude, just make it, like, you know, chocolate. crackly. Like, temper that, man. Temper that. <laughs> Chocolate sewage <laughs> might be my favorite thing ever. Uh, <laughs> uh, then I'm just scrolling down here just to see yeah. some things. I'll, I like a trifle. Do you guys like a trifle? You got chocolate chocolate cookie it's a, crumbs. It's a lazy. It's lazy dessert. It, it is lazy dessert. Cheesecake, cherry it's all compote, in the bucket, chocolate cookie mousse. That sounds good. Cream fresh, chantilly, chantilly. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd yeah. eat that. I'd eat that. I mean, what, wow. they, they say it's a platinum trifle. It seems like a, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, like Damon said, it's, it, it feels more like they just threw a bunch of stuff in a container. And it's old fashioned cream soda. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I'm down yeah, to that, actually. Old fashioned cream soda. That's, that's more up my leg. There's a soda yeah. place <laughs> opening by me. Really? A soda place. Which is like, like an old style soda place? Like a soda joke kind of no, thing? No, it, it's, it's like this newfangled, like it's got sodas. Like but craft then soda. there's like purees you add to the sodas okay. and all sorts of craziness. Like, and at first I was like, oh, I'm never going, wait a second. Maybe I'm going to try that. Right. Like, yeah. I just, so I think I'm going to try that. I, I'm a big soda person. I used to be a huge soda person. So it is just so bad for you that like, I have to like knock it down. I had a soda review website for a while. Like really love soda. Oh, I love soda, but, mm-hmm. and Pepsi blue. I'm just going to tell you that's my jam. A Pepsi blue. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. That was my favorite. Um, well, this is old fashioned cream soda, Sprite, cherry, and blue cotton candy gourmet syrup. Yeah, like are frozen and topped with whipped cream and purple pixels. And, and and the reason that I mentioned Pepsi Blue is because this blue cotton candy syrup has me kind of in my feelings about this place. Okay. I mean, this is like you know about the Galactic Grill because I, I think that's something I would be interested in. Yeah, that sounds good. 
Yeah. See, but this is just making me mad because it's stuff that I'm want. never going to have. <laughs> what about this potato and cheddar cheeseburger? If this wasn't a cheeseburger, I'd eat this. So, I'd, yeah. Yeah. I don't like beef, but it looks good. If this were a How turkey burger. How much do you think burger? that is, though? Oh, probably like uh, over $10, right? At least. I feel like it starts with a two. Like, I just I have oh, to no find way. out. No way. <laughs> so this I will is a, say. Go ahead, Sir Trevor. So, so we, we have um, Tim Hortons up here does they do breakfast sandwiches where they'll put like the hash brown in the sandwich. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and so, I mean, we have that too. The, this is, but, you Canadians made that up. Well, no, but, but, <laughs> but that's but, why I'm into this. That's why I'm into this. Right. Well, I definitely am into this. Yeah. yeah the, the thing is it's really good, right? Like when you get yeah. the, the yeah. potato and the meat and everything and, and yeah, you know, Tim Hortons is the only place I go for that stuff. I'm sure it, it exists elsewhere. It's just yeah. locally it's Tim Hortons. And yeah, like that's to me, that's like, you know, I could just have that burger. I don't even need fries or anything. It's yeah. just okay. They're the built in. Yeah. yeah they're built exactly. in fries. Yeah. So yeah. this is for, so what it is, it's a half, uh, one third uh, pound uh, Angus chuck patty, green chili, and bacon cheddar sauce with spicy, crispy potato planks and a brioche bun. It looks delicious to me, but oh like I goodness. said, I don't really eat burgers. So I just saw the most disgusting thing that I think it just totally what? turned my stomach. Where? where what? This violet pretzel. Okay, where? Uh, oh, yeah. what, does that, what does that bother you? Oh, the refreshment so, corner. So, yeah, I would here's eat that. my first thing: cream cheese is savory, not sugary. Any cheese is savory, not sugary for me. Okay, okay. that's okay. number one. All right. And lavender sugar, I don't like that profile. Like rose lavender, like I bathe in them. I don't yeah. eat them. It's it's an interesting lavenders are very like. You either love it or hate it kind of taste. It's like cilantro, yeah. right? Yeah, which I just can't eat either. But this really. just like it it looks bad. It looks gross and it just makes me go black. <laughs> like <laughs> I would eat this. I, I and what is this? A nerd rope? We're really charging for nerd ropes now? Nerd rope? Where is this? Wait, I you I, I like how you missed the sparkling grape. Like that actually looks really good. Looks and, but it's a drink though with a nerd rope on it. Oh yeah. Well yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> grape soda with nerd rope, like it's no, like, <laughs> and you like I could get grape soda for like less than a dollar and a whole packet full of nerd ropes or whatever these no nerd strips or whatever, or like sour strips uh, or what are the those called um, airheads? Yeah, uh, yeah airhead yeah. strips, whatever, whatever we got going I, on here. By the way, Damon, I I did a yeah. I did a quick uh, pull up of the menu of the Hungry Bear Restaurant where this burger is going to be. And one of their regular burgers is like fifteen fifty. So you actually might be. I'm I mean, saying this might, might you might be, be right. Twenty bucks, man. It might be twenty mm-hmm. bucks. <laughs> this is their their main because it's not listed yet because it, it's not coming out to the twenty seventh. Yeah, yeah. But their regular spicy spicy bacon cheeseburgers fifteen fifty. So I mean, you know, I think it could come maybe in 18. under twenty, maybe eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to throw it in there, right? <laughs> and then the Bang for that premium view outside churro. The mountain. Yeah, exactly. Chur- I feel like churros are one of those things where, like, just leave it alone. Yeah. Like, stop. it's a churro, man. <laughs> like, like, stop touching it. Just Yeah, exactly. It's good. Leave it alone. I don't know, man. Cherry sugar drizzled with white icing and topped with purples. I would eat I don't that. Think I'm t- don't need it. But I don't think I'm tasting churro anymore. No. it's I think You're getting a churro. bunch of sugar and then maybe some dough and cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got this this tumbler, which looks kind of cool, I guess. I think the mug is cooler, the poison apple mug that's below it. Oh, that's that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's that's. Oh cool. yeah, that's. Yeah. But I wait. But I wish, like, it looks like it's, it's obviously plastic, right? That's got to be plastic, right? Okay, yeah. but what I would like this metal. not plastic, like if it actually was made out of metal and glass. Oh yeah, like it kind of trying to resemble. That'd be cool. I yeah. buy it for a hundred bucks. We'll yeah. yeah, there's no way they're selling that at the Casey Jr. churro cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, exactly. But think about cool. it. If it was like real metal and glass, like 100 bucks, I'm in. Like, yeah. that is yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it is very totally. cool. That's a cool design. I really like it. It's it's definitely very cool, even though it's plastic, but probably. We we don't know for sure, but it, we know it's plastic, right? I, yeah. Like, <laughs> guaranteed that's plastic. Like, Yeah, that's yeah. cool, though. All right, what I about mean, it this? really does not look plastic, though. I'm it not doesn't. It lie. looks pretty I, legit, man. It does. I get the feeling when you get it in your hands and you get yeah. a closer look at it, you'll be like, "Oh, like you'll you'll <laughs> see like the 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 yeah. molds 
points and it is really cool looking though yeah i, I that's like some good that. photography i commend whoever did mm. that <laughs> on, on on the silver background and everything yeah, yeah they're really they're really showing yeah. it off what is this terrible looking pizza <laughs> picture it's what french, the heck is that is this this is the french onion dip pizza with mozzarella gruyere caramel, caramelized onions mm. sliced ro- roast beef side with a with a side of beef au jus too you can dip Whoa. it in the au jus. i don't i don't yeah i don't do beef like if yeah well, yeah that's something it, it, else it, man. ignoring the beef that like no like that <laughs> that's that's not that's how like you, you get mad about those french fry things <laughs> what do the, you call them again for the, for the, for the um yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how you get mad about that. That's how mad I am about this pizza. Yeah, wow. the, yeah. Th- there's just certain things it's you don't pizza. put together. Yeah, that's that. Like the with the aj. No, no. I like I like that they're going outside the box. I wouldn't eat it. It's not my jam, but I do. I, I, I listen for for everything that we look at and go, oh, that sounds terrible. I do appreciate the fact that they're trying new things. So I can't even be like I'm not mad at it. It's just that that's not for me. Yeah, that's over at California Adventure, by the way, at the Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. So they also have a uh, so, lemon thing too. There, I, I will point out. I keep seeing lemon chiffon pie. I feel like they're like really pushing this because it's at yeah, multiple places. It's like come eat, like come eat lemon chiffon pie. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, why? Why? I don't know why. Do they have like a surplus of lemons? Like, yeah, <laughs> like maybe they do. Someone's like, we got to get rid of all these lemons. Like, d- you put ten and lemon recipes in there uh, for for the uh, for the hundredth. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe someone could tell us. Maybe there's something. There's some reference here that we're missing. But I don't know. I don't see anything else besides I'm the lo- yeah, lot the rest of cocktails. Kind of yeah. standard, right? It's drinks and like yeah, yeah. There's another trifle mm. too. But I yep. know, you, yeah, you said it was lazy. So, <laughs> a steamboat Willie shake at Schmoozies, which is yeah, a, again California Adventure, um, cookies and cream shake with whipped topping and chocolate cream filled cookie ears with mm. Oreos. Basically, they're, they're Oreos. Yeah, they're Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they couldn't call them Oreos? Like, do they not have nope. the deal with Oreos? Did you, did you guys? So, there's a show on Netflix. I don't know if I told you guys where they have to recreate snacks. Oh, I, I saw I saw Dude, this good. thing. I haven't watched it. Yeah, then. watch it. It's good. Okay. They, they have to recreate Oreos. They have to recreate Ho Hos. Okay, it, it's a pretty good show though. I'll have to watch that. Just made me All think right. about that. Hey, I'm just scrolling down. I don't really see anything else on this. Nah, that was uh, it really for me, catching man. my eye. Like yeah. that's there's a Trace Leach's cake going on down at the bottom there. But okay, you know whatever. A, a straw clip. Wait, hold on. Hold Wait, on. where? What uh, straw clip? What? Okay. So again, yeah, just just oh, scrolling yeah, I got down it. there. Okay, there's, yeah, the Mickey Mouse straw clip. So I thought that was a Christmas wait, ornament. I'm not gonna lie, I really yeah, too. <laughs> that, yeah, that. But wait a second, because I thought Disney was trying to get away from straws. That's true. Yeah, but maybe it's another selling a straw clip, or or it's one of those thick plastic ones. It looks like a thick plastic one in the background, like a the, like a reusable one. I bet it's a reusable one. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's it's meant for. Okay, if if all right, that's. I fair. think it's, it almost could be metal though. Could be. Could be. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's hard to tell in that picture, Damon. Right? I can't. It's like yeah, and metal straws scare me. They scare. It's you. literally like a yeah. Because think about it. So you're drinking out of a metal straw. Something comes along and hits you in the back of the head. Now you're just dead. <laughs> I mean, that's it. You're dead. Um, you think you're? Were, were you feel like you're living watching... in a John Wick movie or something? <laughs> Dude, like it legit has happened though. Like I, I'm not uh, about that. how many how many Final Destination movies have you watched? Damon? <laughs> None. I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not about metal straws. They're an instrument of death. They're not. They're not to be used as straws. <laughs> Oh man, that's me. Aren't you glad we talked about food? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, as a child, I actually did ram a plastic straw into the roof of my mouth. Yeah, what if it was metal? You'd be dead right now. There'd be no show. No, because because what I did was I, I very stupidly I had the straw in my mouth and I tried to lean down and like look at something that was mm-hmm. on the ground. Yeah. And I didn't think about the fact that the straw was in my mouth and it you know shoved into Dude, the back. Dude, if it of my was mouth. metal, you'd been hurt up though. Well, no, I, I actually like had a big cut in my mouth from. But that's what I'm saying. Off. It was plastic. If it was metal, yeah. you... I, I don't think it would have done any more damage. And actually, the, the type of metal straws we have have the silicone ends on them. So, oh, okay. I, what is I that? think that's un-American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm in Canada. He's remember? In Canada. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh! What is that? <laughs> that, that actually sounds safer though. Like I, I'm not they scared are. Of I mean, I mean, they, they, yeah. With the silicone end on it, like it doesn't. You don't notice. Like, it could still kill you. Listen, I could put a silicone end on the end of a knife and it's still stabbing people with it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing I'm not running full speed with straws in my mouth. So, <laughs> but but kids do. <laughs> kids do. <laughs> this show has gotten way off the rails. <laughs> Oh man! Okay, Don't get the well, Mickey Straw Clips people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got two more things here that we can go re- through really quick, and then we can wrap this thing up. So, all right. Uh, so first of all, uh, Magic Key Pass uh, sales have resumed. So good. They said so. that they were randomly going to start doing it, but it right after they said that they were going to randomly start doing it, they started doing it. Now I don't know if they still are for sale. I mean, they might have stopped by the time that we're talking now, but. Um, yeah, there was a virtual queue. They're going to close it every day at 10 o'clock or something like that. It's really interesting kind of how they're doing this. But they are still there's some still for sale. Not all of them are still for sale. I just clicked it. So the Believe and the Inspire look like they're still for sale. But outside of that, they are not. But they said they're going to just open them up for sale random times. So I guess keep checking. <laughs> like, and, and, and meanwhile, we have no news about when they'll start reselling uh, annual passes for Disney World. So but. But this does, you know, this gives me hope. Yeah. At least, you know, the fact that they're starting to open it up again is, you know, it may be in two months, but at least, at least it's not where we were last year where it was like, when are you doing this? Right. Like you're starting to see it. So that, that's the only thing I take away from it is that, you know, you're starting to see that coming back, which that's all I want. (laughs) No, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And then lastly, this last one is just kind of a, a going over all the 100th anniversary stuff. And most of it is stuff we talked about, right? So mm-hmm. coming soon here, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is opening. Um, so that's happening on the 27th of January. So you'll have that soon. Next um, week? Yeah, next week. Well, this week. Yeah, right. This. Or, week. Oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess this week. No. Yeah. So oh, geez. this week. Yeah. What's that? I said, oh, geez, that's coming up fast. Yeah, it is. It is. It's coming up fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, it doesn't say when World of Color One is premiering, does it? Um, is did that already start? Um, when does that start? Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have the date on. Article it. does it? Yeah, but I mean, I feel like we announced it before. I just don't remember. Mm-hmm. Probably because it's it's Disneyland. No offense to Disneyland. Yeah, January twenty seventh as well. Okay, so that is January twenty seventh. Um, and then also Wondrous Journeys, the new nighttime show, is is premiering as well. Uh, but then you know the food offerings we talked about. Basically, all this is happening January twenty seventh. Uh, except for Magic Happens, which is coming back on the 24th of February. So that's making a return. And then Mickey's Toontown is reopening on March 8th, which I feel like they just closed that down. So obviously they worked pretty quickly on that one. That's Yeah, that that's a pretty fast turnaround it for, is, yeah. for Toontown. For redoing a whole land, I feel like it is very quick. So I, I don't think, I mean, th- that's the thing, you know, temper your expectations there. It's not going to be like a new land. It's, you know, it's redoing stuff that, needed a redo like yeah. it so yeah. you know i'm I'm sure they had plenty of time to plan it out and everything and yeah i i think it'll you know again the the, the concept art and everything it, i think it'll be um i think it'll be nice when it yeah. opens and you know you know ca- kind of like um how pete's or the the circus area is in in disney world you know it's just good to have a a smaller kid space so yeah absolutely which i appreciate as somebody with the small kids yeah you, <laughs> so. yeah, you know if, if you ever get out to california you know while well, well, your daughter's still you know fairly young this is perfect I, and you know even even for my son you know he enjoyed toontown back in the day like you know when it was the old toontown but we could see where it was like he he kind of got bored in there quick <laughs> so yeah this, this is good yeah. So yeah, I'll, lots lots of stuff uh, happening in the first couple of months here, and and I feel like you know you know people talking about you know or I, I sh- you know sorry Damon I'm going to call you out here you know that you know yeah. saying well this is just Disneyland news it's not a big deal <laughs> and I know he's probably not even listening anymore that's fine. Um, the <laughs> um, you can say you know, what you want now <laughs> the 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 focus or you know. You know, they are like, we're getting this. Focus Wait, wh- who's back. talking about me? I'm watching a video on <laughs> hey. photography. What did you say? I was just I was just saying how, you know, you know, the comment around, well, it's just Disneyland news. That's not yeah. a big deal. Um, but the fact that all this stuff is kind of happening in the first part of the year, you know, you know, they're kind of like Disney will switch gears again. And you'll probably see like after like March going into April, you'll start hearing a whole bunch more about Disney World 
adults. Yeah, yeah. That's, true. So, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as the 50, I anticipate that as soon as the 50th anniversary is over, that they're going to start announcing all sorts of other stuff, right? Because they always, they always try to sustain like a certain amount of interest and hype and such, right? So they, and that's why all the like Tron is opening right after the 50th is done. And like a bunch of other stuff is happening right after the 50th. So like they're going to announce more stuff as the year goes on for sure. Yeah. So anyway. So yeah, that's all I got. Do you want to want to go ahead and wrap this up? I, I it's funny because I when I wrote the show uh, initially, I was like, oh, it's like really short. There's not a lot to talk about. And meanwhile, here we are at an hour and a half because we ramble about other stuff. So yeah, we, well, that's that's what we do. You know, the, it, is, it ha- is having having less news isn't always a bad thing because we can do our our you know rabbit holes and and yeah, weird exactly. tangents. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, as usual, if you guys want to reach out to us, you can always find us at welcomehomepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, send us your trip reports. You know, you can ask us questions and just chat and stuff like that. It's always nice to hear from our listeners. And you can follow us on social media, uh, on Facebook as Welcome Home Podcast. Uh, same thing for YouTube. Uh, Instagram is Welcome Home Picks. Uh, so, you know, for any one of those places, make sure you subscribe to it so you get notified whenever we post live streams, um, you know, going to the park, stuff like that. Make sure you guys check out um, the Facebook group that we talked about earlier in the show. You know, if you're not in there, it's it's a fun time. And I think it's, you know, worth checking out. Uh, go go find Welcome Home Disney Waitlist and, uh, you know, join up with all the other people that are talking. If you'd like to help uh, support the show, go to store.welcomehomepodcast.com and check out some of the merchandise we have there because uh, it um we like it we think it's you know it's good stuff if you want to you know have a shirt to wear around the parks and you know we and and actually just to to shout out to that you know we love seeing um i i still find it cool that you know we'll just get random pictures from people that are in the park and they're like yeah you know you know rocking my welcome home merch and it's like yeah yeah that's crazy still that we have that that people are wearing our merchandise to the parks like that. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, you know, if if you want to help support the show, that's, you know, please consider checking out the store and, and, you know, everything from that, you know, it just goes back into us doing more stuff with the show. Like, you know, we've done t-shirts in the past and, and all kinds, like we're all kinds of stuff. You know, we're, we're always kind of thinking about other things to do um, along the way. We, we've got ideas. They don't always come true, but uh um, you know, the, the store definitely helps us fund a lot of those things. Same thing with Patreon. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash welcome home pod, check out the different levels of support there. And Patreon actually has, uh, exclusive merch that you can't get on the store. It's, it's a unique logo that we don't have anywhere else. And that will also get you access to the discord server, which is yet another place that we like talking with our fans and you'll get some different conversations than you see on Facebook. So, um, if that interests you, you know, consider, um, you know, giving us uh or what let's say you know buy us a coffee right like you know you know, you know five maybe bucks. get a coffee mug <laughs> exactly yeah yeah buy us a coffee and you might get a coffee mug you know <laughs> works out yeah um so yeah you know if, if that's uh something you'd like to do you know we, we would greatly appreciate it and um last but not least as we already talked about earlier if you want to leave us a review on iTunes, um, we we definitely appreciate that. Good or bad, you know, we we obviously talk about the good and the bad on here. We're not afraid to to hear criticism, and uh, we also love hearing your feedback because, um, you know, that's what makes the show better. So, um, you know, please consider leaving us a review. And also, if it's on iTunes or Spotify that you're listening, uh, five stars would be nice because it that's it does actually help more people find the podcast at the end of the day, and uh, you know. Tom likes doing things in multiples of five. So, you know, you know, yeah, think about him great. in this, you know, you know, leave him five stars, please. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I think some people leave one star reviews on the, on there just so they get read on the show. But I'm telling you right now, like I will read the five star reviews too. So we will read any review that's, that's good. Or, but it's, it is funny though, how like our reviews are mostly one or five. Like there's no in between, <laughs> right? Like we, we have like no two star, two, three stars. So, it's all one or five. You know, can, can I shout out? I, I think this is probably, a review from 
um, one of Damon's son's friends. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It, is. It, it, the, the title is Damon is the goat, you know, greatest of yeah. all time. And, <laughs> and uh, it just says, I love Damon. He's so funny. And the reason I listen to all your shows, go Damon. The name of the, <laughs> the person <laughs> was your mom reviews, <laughs> 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 which is okay. That's amazing. Yep. <laughs> that's, yep. that's fantastic. That's so yeah, there, there's a five star review for you. That sounds week. like a legit review to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, legit. <laughs> <it's> legit. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe to Welcome Home Podcast so you can be reminded every time we release a new episode. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spotify, just about any podcast app out there. You can find us. Just search for Welcome Home and you know the Disney one. Uh, which, by the way, I, I searched "Welcome Home" recently, and we there's show, another one. Yeah, there is, but we show up first in most of the searches. So, as uh, we should, as we should. Um, just a reminder to our re- reminder to our listeners: "Welcome Home" podcast is for entertainment only. We are not employed by the Walt Disney Company, and as such, all opinions we express in the show are our own. So, please contact a Disney cast member or uh, you know a regular cast member for more information about anything we talked about today. Huge thank you as always to our sponsors over at uh, DVC rental store for sponsoring this episode. And of course, world of DVC for uh, sponsoring the show and uh, for not sending Damon a hat. Um, you know, eventually they will get him a hat. It's going to happen. So join us next time for more Disney parks discussion. Of course, more DVC talk. We hope to see you all real soon. This is Skipper Albert Awol, the voice of the jungle. Signing off from Welcome Home Podcast on the DVC. Do a hug when we hit a chair. How she can cuddle is no man's affair. I looked around from pole to pole, found her in a sugar bowl.